Hello and welcome to what is sure to be an odd one. This is... Mad Father. I've got a little taste of the RPG maker style horror games with Eeb or Ib. And was very much on board. And I've heard this is apparently a pretty tip top one. So I'm looking forward to being unconventionally spooked. Am I meant to be. No, it's just showing me the credits. Oh, well, I'll just chat about what I know about this game. Um, <laughs> which isn't much. Other than you play a little girl, I think, with a bow in her hair. You know, I, I have the perfect little girl voices, obviously. Um, with a scientist father who... Word around the street is, is a bit insane. Oh, this is my mansion that I live in. Yeah, I'm rich. Just saying. <laughs> Common events. Foolish Kingdom Damien. Okay. Font chip head. <laughs> oh, there I am. That's me, obviously. This is my voice. This is how little girls speak. Little girls with incredibly vacant looking eyes. Like, is there any, like, Nope. Nothing going on behind those eyes. Presented by Miscreant's Room. Tidy your room immediately, Miscreant. Oh, okay. Someone's attacking a piano. Mad father. I'm ready to meet my mad dad. I'm sure he's quite the lad. Northern Germany, the Drevis residence. Who's there? Father! Oh. Okay, we're down in father's crazy basement. Father, are you in there? Father? Oh, yeah. How many times have I told you not to come down here? Sorry, Father. But, um, I'm too scared to sleep on my own. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. You're never alone. Your late mother is always there at your side. She's always watching over you, Aya. Okay? Now, please, get to bed. Yes, Father. Good girl. Why is there blood on your lab coat? Father, tomorrow's, yes, the anniversary of her death. We'll visit her grave together. Okay. Now, back to bed, please. I'll be resting too shortly. Okay. All right, let's go to bed. No. Nope. Stop. No! <laughs> Help me! Help! Ah, no more noises, I'm sure. Mm. Wonder where they call you, mad father. I know father's secret. My father is a scientist. It's not really a secret. He loves research and is always just locked up in the lab in the basement. And I've always heard things from that lab. Animal and human screams. Even at a young age, I knew that my f what my father was doing. So I pretended I wasn't looking. That I didn't know or hear anything. I feigned ignorance the whole time. Because I loved Father. That's not the only secret I know. When Mom and I weren't around, he and his helper... Oh God, we got a bit of infidelity. A fine sample. I shall dispose of the remaining materials myself. That can wait. Come, Maria. Doctor... Doctor, the mistress is aware of our relationship. Hmm? What does it matter? 
I don't believe she's fond of me. That is the problem. The girl will be eleven soon. It's a troublesome age, to be sure. Be kind to her, please. Ensure that she never comes to harm. She is my most precious... Uh, what the sass of frass is happening? Tick tock, motherfucker. It's midnight. Day's the day Mum went to heaven. Mum. Now that I'm thinking about Mum, I can't get to sleep. Okay, we're actually in the game now, are we? Your favourite doll. Sweet. A doll I got from father. It's so old and worn. Why are you ticking and talking? Oh, here we go. I brought you a present, Aya. Yay, it's a doll! Thank you, father. <laughs> Maybe not. Put that back. We take that one back to the store, dad. What a pretty doll. It's almost like it's real foreshadowing. Okay, let's ignore the creepy fucking doll for a second here, shall we? A plain dresser. The red-eyed stranger. Whoa. Huh? Something fell out. What do you got here? Is it a key? Got a gem. Okay. Gems are hidden in various places. Some require doing special events to get. You can see your gem count in the menu. Find them all and... Dot, dot, dot. Horace the Trader. Let's have a look at Mumsy. Portrait of Mum. Mum. Damn, son. Damn. What should I do, Mum? I do love Father, but... She scares me. She's always looking at me with those eyes. I hate her. But I know father likes her. It's father and her got married. I guess she would be my new mum. I don't want her to be my new mum. I don't need a new mum. There's only one mum in the world for me. Mum, why did you have to go? Oh, Poor Aya. The little bunny. Snowball the pet rabbit. Oh, okay. That's weird. The room feels cold all of a sudden. I'm kind of scared. I should get back to bed. Into bed I go. Good night, no one. Yep. Back in dreamland. You sing so well, Aya. Can I turn around now, Father? Just a moment. Just put this here. Yes, it's finished. A flower crown. Does it look good on me? You're an adorable dad. Well, I don't know. They call you mad, but don't listen to them. Just because you've got no eyes. Yes, I think it suits you well. Yay! Thank you, Father. Also, where are your eyebrows? I'm sorry I can't always play with you. Father. It's all right. I'm glad I can play with you today, Father. It's Mother. Oh my. No, that's the, that's Maria's voice. Oh my. You two were playing? That's not really a woman's voice, but... I, I can't do a woman's voice, alright, that's right. That's why right. this little girl speaks like me. Mum. Look, Father made me a flower crown. That's wonderful. It looks great on you, Aya. Why all my women sound posh? So, you played with him all day? Yeah. We should do this again, Father. Yes, we should. Next time, your mother should join in. Well, I look forward to it. <coughs> oh, give me a second. Mum! I'm sorry. Just another fit. 
<laughs> Don't push yourself if you're not feeling well. But I'm still going to smile like this anyway. Hey, come, get some medicine for Maria. It should help you get better. No, I can get that myself. Mom, are you okay? You're okay, right? Sorry to worry you. I'm perfectly fine. Don't look so anxious, please. Aya, ah, yeah, your smile keeps me going best of all. If I can't see you smiling, it only makes me worry. Mum. Okay. I shall smile. All is well now. Now, let's get back for dinner. I made sirloin steak tonight. Your favourite, Aya. Hooray! I love Mum's steaks. Right, father? <laughs> of course. Her steaks are the best in the world. How can you sound so creepy talking about steaks? We were so happy then. And there was Maria too, but fucking no one gives a shit. Even so, the three of us were a happy family. But then mum passed away from illness. And that happiness we had then, well... Tick tock, motherfucker. Oh god, that didn't sound good. <laughs> huh? That scream, father? Something must have happened. I'll go check on father. I'm coming, father. I have a bad feeling. Well, so do I now. What's this sound? Is it a voice? Whoa. What the? Whoa. Hey, guys. Oh, Jesus. They just fucking... No. No, don't. This way. Who's that? Over here. Somebody there? I don't know, but I'm going towards you and not the fucking freak show over there. Hey, kiddo. You look like a solid dude. I gotta say hi to you. Who are you? This way. Really? Who? Stay with me. I said, this way. <laughs> oh, man, you got fucking... Oh, I'd take my chances with the dolls. Okay, maybe not. I'll take my chances with the freak show. What the hell? Is that Winston Churchill? Who's that? Okay, that's, that's... I'm calling you Winston anyway. Many interesting books in this room here. Do you like books, my dear? Who the fuck are you? Now, now, don't be so aggressive. I'm merely a salesman. Salesman? C call me Ogre. Okay. Fucking... Whatever. I hope to get to know you, young lady. It is quite troublesome to think that corpses loiter around the house. Co corpses? The, those monsters back there? They're like creatures from a story. Why would monsters like that suddenly... Well, it's a curse. Yeah, I'm gonna drop that one, on us. What you saw were the corpses of your father's test subjects. Overcome with anger, those deceased have been brought back by the power of a curse. To take revenge on your father, of course. What? So father is in danger? I have to save him. And why is that? Towards his own ends, he has killed countless people as part of his experiments. This is his retribution. You must have realized by now your father's true nature. And yet you wish to save him? Yep. Don't even get fucking choice in that manner. My, my. Perhaps she cannot yet understand their suffering. I'm sure she will very soon. Oh, the dolls are gone. I have to go save father. Hey, bird. A crow? Let's take a look at the crow. Oh, okay, we're, it's a saving crow. There we go. Thanks, crow. Good to know the crows have got my back. Ah, give my daughter! I don't have your daughter, mate. I've got no daughters here. I ain't got no daughters on me. Okay. The clock has stopped at midnight. The witching hour. A quiet little altar. Oh, hey. You fellas again, is it? Cafeteria is locked. Of course it is. Let's go down to the blood room. 
Can't quite see what that says. Something moored is death, right? Something with death, maybe. Either way, this is a hip happening room we got going on here. Oh! Something there. What the actual fuck is that? What is that? I don't know. I don't want to know. I want to get out of here. I don't want to deal with my piece of shit father anymore. Oh, oh god. That was close. Hey, toy soldiers. Play me a nice little march, will you? Ooh, there's a crow. Ah. Hey, who the fuck are you? I'm trying to get to the saving crow. Jesus. Even the furniture's against me. Oh, okay, maybe that was me doing that. <laughs> boop, boop. Okay, there's a little shimmy, shimmy, shimmy thing over here. Okay, the fire's crying again. I thought I heard someone. What a sad fire. Flames burn fiercely. I thought I heard a voice from that fireplace. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, this house doesn't have anything weird, like crying fireplaces. You just... A powerfully moving painting. It just it just moved, didn't it? Oh, fuck. What the fuck are you doing to me? Oh, fuck. Did, 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 did. Get the fuck off me, man. What the fucking frickety frick fucking sandwich was that? Okay, is there any way I can heal myself? I drink some of this wine. A bit too young for wine, I think. <laughs> I mean, is he still there? Like, Jesus. Right, I'm gonna do the uh, staggered saves just in case I fuck something up. Anyway, let's do what I was trying to fucking do. Got a coo kukri knife. Okay, we got a kukri. The traditional Gurkha knife. Charm encyclopedia. The one. If you want the ones you love to be happy, for this a good luck charm does the trick. All you need is one thing. And this you must have. It is love. Kiss someone's forehead with love and say a blessing. And a spell of good luck will be cast upon them. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, it's fucking magical. How does it fucking help me? Yeah, I ain't looking at that shit again. Okay, so it looks like this game is good on fucking you over. Damn, this is a big ass bathroom. Anything gonna jump out the fucking toilet? No. <laughs> Something's gonna pull me into that bath though. I can feel that one already. What oh, cafeteria key? Yep. Hey, buddy. You're supposed to float the other way around. Oh, hey, you look like a nice lady. Where are you going? Or not? Maybe not. Why was that doll moving? I fucking wonder why, why everything? Is that part of the curse too? Yeah, I think we can just about piece together the uh, nuance of this game. Ah, oh, boy. Ouch. He's, oof. Get up the stairs. Jesus. <laughs> okay, I guess we need to find another saving crow, do we? It's locked. We've got the cafeteria key, but we'll come back to that in a sec. Ugh. Can I use the kukri knife? Sturdy spider web. I guess I can't. I haven't got like an inventory or something? No. I guess we'll come back to that. Okay. Let's try the cafeteria, shall we? But let's go back to the saving crow and heal up. Use the cafeteria key. Okay, we'll explore the cafeteria next episode, I think. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like my content, please do check out my other videos. If you do, I shall see you there. Goodbye. <laughs>